It's another week and another plan with me. This is Betsy from Sticky Mix, and this week I was feeling kind of in the holiday spirit, but also kind of feeling like I needed to save some money. So I pulled out a couple of Christmas kits from yesteryear. These have been hanging around since 2016. Half of the kit that I made and half of this kit, which has like peppermint and cocoa. And I think it might have been a handout from a planner convention or something that I got from my friend. So I think that's where that came from. Also a sheet from the Mambi sticker book that had red in it. So I'm like, hey, I might use some of these. And some dollar stickers from Target from last year. Some of you may remember these infamous stickers that gave me so much trouble last year. If you don't remember it, I'll link it in the bottom because there's one hilarious part that to this day just, oh my gosh, I love watching it because it's so ridiculously bad planning. But anyway, there's lots of stickers from Target for a buck. I'm pretty sure they have these same designs this year too. So if you want them, hey, they're only a dollar. So let's clear this off. No, wait, let's look at washi first. So these are the three washi that I am using this week. Obviously basic Santa red at the bottom because you got to have, you know, your basic color foundation. Some lacy washi tape, which is, I think this is the first time I'm using it. One of my subscribers gave it to me. Thank you, Flora. And a pink, I know shock, pink tape with polka dots that already disappeared off screen. So let's flip my planner around and get this thing started. On the top, starting out with that lace tape and putting it down. And I realize that it's very transparent. Like it's obviously not hiding anything anything but I thought well that's okay I can use the red tape and cover up maybe some more of those headers like that but it just looked a little weird to have the lace and then have it covered up by the red I, I just in my heart in my soul I felt like the red needed to go first so I put down the red tape first and I had to trim it again obviously so I had to get my clipboard again obviously because my Aaron Conan is a little too bendy now to try to cut on it. So yeah, I had to readjust all that, slap that back down. And uh, like I say, you can still see the headers, but we'll take care of that later. Putting some red on the bottom. I like to leave the bottom white space because I do. And put down the lacy tape on top of that. Did not overlap it on the bottom. Why didn't I do that? That's weird. I don't know. I don't then putting down the date cover, starting with Sunday, if this is the first time that you have seen one of my videos, you might be asking yourself, what the heck is this woman doing putting down Sunday first? Does she have no weekend? That's exactly right. I have no weekend, and so it does me very little good to have Saturday and Sunday right next together. And actually works much better for my work schedule to have my week start on Sunday and then end on Saturday. So that's what I do. Now down to the bottom, putting down the red first. Trying to trim that off. My trimming skills are steadily declining as this goes on. And I cut way too far on this side. You can see the day box, I'm like, rip that up. Not gonna work, try again, take two. And this time I got some cardboard to help me out. Still didn't help me out though, because you can still kind of see the day box, but it wasn't as bad as the first time. So I just left it alone. Putting down the rest of the date covers, Wednesday through Saturday. Saturday, where are you? There you go. And then going back to the sidebar, I put down this sticker from the Mambi sticker book because it was red. Like I figured, okay, it's red, it'll go. And then I was looking at this and going like, wow, this is looking tacky. This is looking just really bad. I also wanted to put a half box. I usually put a half box up here where I put some words just to guide me for the week, but that was looking so ridiculously busy that I'm like, no, let's put something simpler. What's the simplest sticker I have? Probably this checklist. I don't think it cut quite right. That star is really close to the top. Maybe that's why I did not use it in 2016. So here are some things that I wanted to do this week. And let's see here. I think half of those got done because obviously you're watching the plan with me at the top. I did help my friend Vicky move around some things in her garage and some goodbye things. Yes, goodbye things have happened this week. The rest of those, the vlog, the blog, Florence, which is my bronze statue I started like five years ago. Nothing happened. Nothing. But that's okay. There's, there's always another week. Is there though? Sometimes I wonder. Anyway, uh, putting down some polka dot tape and a write-in tracker and trimming off the tape. Trimming it off, there we go. And putting down some more, and then trimming it off. 
I wasn't totally thrilled that the red of this tracker was not quite the same red as the tape. I feel like we have a cranberry versus Santa red going on here, but it was good enough. So then I put down the two trackers, the small ones that came with the peppermint cocoa kit, and grabbed some icons that I thought could be visual cues of what these trackers are for. The top one is going to be for walking my dog Tika every day, which was a fail because I did not do Friday. And then a book, uh, a book of books, a pile of books to note when I've read for 10 minutes. Right now I'm reading Stiff Upper Lip Jeeves by P.G. Woodhouse and thoroughly enjoying it. I was going to write goodbye things, but I ran out of room. So then I put things on the top and now it says things goodbye, which is very dramatic. On Sunday, I went through my entire bookcase which was a pretty big feat, which is why I got two exclamation points, not just one. And then on Monday, I went through my CDs, which is a far smaller collection. And then I just did obvious trash the next day, like receipts and stuff. And the day after that, I did cake toppers. I used to get these little kind of poorly made plastic figurines on top of my birthday cakes when I was a kid. And for whatever reason, I never played with them, but I did like just keep them on a shelf for like 20 years. Okay, and if any of you have seen Toy Story, you know that just keeping your toys on a shelf for 20 years is just torture. So I thought I need to just pass these toys on and give them to somebody else who will bring them some joy and some use. So at the top there, above the list, I wrote, be honest, be present, and be grateful. These are supposedly the things that will come about once I have fully become a minimalist. So I'm, you know, kind of aiming toward that, that it would be nice to be honest and present and grateful. Over on Sunday, I am setting up Spotify lists of tossed out CDs. Basically, I made this deal with myself that if I could find the music on Spotify and I didn't totally love the packaging of the CD, that I would just get rid of it because obviously I don't need it if I can find it online. As I was on Spotify, I remembered, light bulb, that a friend of mine asked me to make a playlist of my favorite Florence and the Machine songs. She has never heard of Florence or like heard Florence's music, but she has seen the statue that I'm making. So she kind of wanted to connect the dots and see what this is all about. And so I made that for her. If you want to listen to it too, you can. It's in the description below. Below that, I put a big full box sticker and put the word books in a scalloped box with a peppermint candy that covered up that ugly squiggle that I put. That was just to show visually that, yeah, I spent a lot of my day just going through my books. Put down part of that checklist that did not print right, did not cut right, I should say, and put down a little TV sticker. We have finally found some new dramas that uh, we're going to finish, hopefully. One is called Sound of Your Heart, the other is called Revolutionary Love. Sound of Your Heart is not actually a drama. It unfortunately only has like one and a half stars on Netflix <laughs> because I don't think people understood that it wasn't a drama. It's this really kind of inane comedy. And some parts of it are hilarious, but most of it I think is lost kind of in the cultural barriers maybe because sometimes we're just watching this going like, what is going on? But then other times it's it's hilarious. Um, yeah, so I, I can't exactly recommend that one. On Monday I did some cleaning. I made some happy planner sheets, printed and cutted things, and then full box of all the cocos and a skinny little header sized box so that I could write Splatoon event. What Splatoon event? There's no Splatoon event. That doesn't happen until, I don't know when, like Splatfest hasn't even happened yet. Not sure what that was, but apparently I played video games. And then, after video games, hopefully not that much of the day. Like if you compare that to how much time I spent on books, like whoa. Uh, put that full box on top. Not entirely sure why, I think it just didn't fit very well. And I thought I might put another box on top of it and I thought, nah, I mean, you can write on the screen, it's fine. I had to make dinner. I can't remember what I made. What did I make? I feel like we had some like leftover tri-tip or something that I just added taco spices to and we made taco salad. Oh, and we're watching Revolutionary Love. That one is 
a regular type drama, but I put half and half because the episodes feel so long that we can usually only get through half an episode an evening. So that's um, with Choi Shi Wan. If you've seen Super Junior, you know who that is. And um, yeah, he's in it, and we love his acting. And so we're watching that one. On Tuesday, Classical Stretch. Yay, I haven't done Classical Stretch in a while. Did some dishes with a cute little sticker from Kylie and Chaos that my friend got me. Did some emails using a Today header and that checklist. See, it kind of bugs me that those are two different reds. But oh well. So TV and K-drama pages. Oh yeah, movies and docs pages, books pages. Yeah, 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 yeah. Friend list. Okay, so these... I don't know if it's worth explaining now or if I should just wait until I make a video and show you. But anyway, I've been thinking of things that I want in my happy planner that I can't find inserts that I like. You know what I mean? Like I want a list of all the movies that I want to watch someday, but so far I haven't found one that is any good, so I made my own. And my shoulder was hurting. I'm pretty sure it's because of my computer setup. I have this ridiculous setup where I have to like push my shoulders forward to type and uh, like imagine if your keyboard was on the edge of your table closest to you and then you pushed it about 15 inches away from you and then tried to type on it that's that's basically what my setup is and so my shoulders hurting oh well I'll try to do something to make it not hurt and not and maybe just change my setup so that I don't like wreck my shoulder huh that'd be smart Putting down some decoration stickers from the Dollar Target stickers. Just sprinkling them here and there. Some Christmas cuteness here and there and everywhere. So that was the first part of the week. Let's go to the second part of the week. First, I'm sticking down the things that I know are happening. So I need to help Vicky with her garage at 5 p.m because uh, she's currently uh, alone at her house. Like her kids are um, going to college out of state. So she just needed a pair of hands to help her out. And so I did. And then there was going to be art meet, which was actually canceled because I was helping Vicky with her garage again. And um, laundry had to be done. Wash, dry, fold away. Woodafa. Those stickers are available in my shop if you like them. And then I used the weekend banner, even though it's not the weekend, just because it was kind of a cute weekend banner. So I thought, what a waste if I didn't use it. So I used it. And then put down the other two full boxes just on places where I thought there would be a big chunk of time. On Thursday, I had to make dinner again. So that would take a big chunk of time. You dinner makers, you know what I'm talking about. Chopping those vegetables and everything. It takes a while to do things from scratch. So I got a happy day of sticker to make it less taxing. Oh, that's when we had taco salad. I wonder what I made on Monday then. I don't know. On Wednesday, today. What happened today? Bill do? No, that's not true. Oh, covered it up with an alarm clock so that it became more of a appointment box because an out-of-state friend was going to call me at noon. So I had to remember that. And I really wanted to use this Christmas tree box, but there's kind of no place to put it. So I was just wandering here and there and everywhere and trying to figure out where to put it. And then a checklist underneath. And what did I do, checklist? What did I do on Wednesday? Don't leave us in suspense here. Oh, look at that. I washed my clothes. And I filled up the car. Cherry bomb. That's what we call the red car. It's different from the silver car. I wonder why we don't call the silver car silver bomb. I don't know. Anyway, I uh, had to go to the store after art meet, which didn't happen, but I still had to go to the store that day. And then another bill due sticker, which we know is not going to be a bill due. Although I could have used it for my student loans. That would have been a clever use, or at least a standard use of it. But I needed to help prep for the garage sale, and that's what took so long and actually canceled um, art meet. But I did get fed by Vicky at The Habit, which is like a burger diner place. Oh, it was so good. It was like not on my diet in any way, shape, or form, but that's okay. I worked off calories moving furniture, okay? I earned it. So, on Wednesday, uh, I was trying to look up getting things done, and ironically, 
here I was, you know, helping a friend out, helping her clear out her garage, and she had a copy of the book getting things done. And I'm like, oh, can I borrow this? And she's like, you can have it. And I was like, what? This is like, you know, the universe saying that, see, you were kind and now kindness is giving back to you because I was really on the fence about buying this book or not because number one, it was like 12 bucks, which may not seem like a lot, but that's like an entire week's worth of, no, not a week's worth, a weekend worth of paying interest on my student loans, okay? So that, that's kind of a big deal. So I was going back and forth on it and now that I have the book, I started using it on Thursday and did the first step of capturing everything on my mind and then processing everything in the inbox. Oh my goodness, like I can see that this getting things done can work for me and I need to try to figure out how I'm going to employ it, employ it? Insert it? Insert it into my happy planner with getting things done, with getting things done inserts. Goodness, my thoughts are going faster than my words. My tongue can can keep up. But uh, yeah, I want to try to get the getting things done method into my happy planner so that I can get more things done. On Saturday, it was supposed to be a hospital visit, but it turns out that the patient is getting released that day instead. Hooray! So there's not going to be a visit. And that's a lie. Then just using the decoration stickers to decorate my planner. Like so. A little snowman up there. A little reindeer over there. Maybe put little mittens right there, but they didn't fit, so maybe not. Maybe Santa Claus and mittens down there. Cute, 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 cute. Just having all the fun sticking the stickers. One over there, too. Maybe there. And more. Oh, yeah, teddy bear. I like the teddy bear. And just a little update. I also threw out an Egypt book that I thought I was going to keep on Sunday and then decided not to. And also a teapot that um, honestly is not a very functional teapot. And so if you're not a functional teapot, what are you? And before I end the video, I have to give a shout out thank you to all of my patrons who help to keep this channel ad free and support my videos and help me pay off my student loans. You guys are awesome. And I try to repay you by giving you videos early and printables and stuff like that. So if you want to check that out, the link is below. So that's it for this week. I hope you have a good week and I will see you again next week.